wanted to do a look using all of my current favorites. This is so hard. Like I, what I originally wanted to do is go through all my makeup and pick like my favorite this, yeah, favorite foundation, favorite this. But like I have a lot of really good foundations that I like. And I have eyeshadows that I really love. Like, like it's hard to just pinpoint it to one, like this is it. This is my, you know what I mean? But I'm, these are things that I've been reaching for the most lately. Now, I am filming this in December. Keep that in mind. So if I do um, try something out after this and I'm, you know, talking about it in videos, which, you know, could sometimes I will insert a video that I do. Like if I'm reviewing something, maybe I'll kind of move things around. So just keep that in mind. Okay. But I am loving these products right now you guys know how much i love this it's part of my skincare routine and i'm going to use the um this brush because you probably know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take this swirl it in my brush and now i'm gonna go in with my other favorite product lately and it's this from rms oh actually you know what back it up backtrack it up we're gonna do something a little different first before i do that i want to use this because this stuff is so freaking gorgeous i don't think i've i don't think i've used this together as i'm filming this i don't think so but i've been wanting to so we're going to do this on camera i'll take this but i do have a scooper for this but you're like what is the product i'm going to tell you what the product this is from rms and this is the uh, master radiance base this is so much nicer than the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, in my opinion. Hopefully, I don't have too much, but you got to be careful with this. You don't want to get too much, honey, okay? You don't. So, I'm going to tell you. So, I'm just going to take this between my two little fingers here and just kind of warm it up a little bit. And then I'm going to start to distribute it. And I think before. Like, I'm just going to mush it in with my concealer is what I'm trying to say. I'm not going to apply it all over. I'm just going to kind of leave it like this. Trust me, this is going to look amazing. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my concealer, and I'm wearing, I believe, 11.5. It doesn't say in the bottom anymore, <laughs> so I'm trying to remember what I ordered. That's one thing. I wish they would mark that because, like, I'm pretty sure that's the one, but, you know. So I'm just going to start. What I love about this product this concealer is not only can I get it on my face but it works under my eyes too like it is just wonderful and you don't have to use a lot one thing I will tell you and I shared this in the review that I did is that you have to make sure that you blend this really really well so make sure you get in all those little creases but that's why this brush is good for that. I did not like this brush at all at first. I'm like, oh my God, it's not like a soft. I mean, it's a soft brush, but it's, I don't, here, if I use on the back of my hand, see how it moves? If I use uh, like a brush like this from BK Beauty, even if I'm going like this, see how it's softer? Do you know what I'm saying? So I just feel like it just moves your skin around. But I feel like when you're using it for a product like this, I feel like you need, need to do that because you've got to, really get it in to all your crevices. Now let's do the other side. I don't take a lot more, just take a little bit. You don't need a lot. I feel like when you use that, when you have that serum on here, and I would only do a drop. I shared that on the review that I did. I'm just tapping this on, you guys. I'm not pulling my eye. It's funny, I see Rosemary do it. I swear she pulls her. <laughs> she does it. <sighs> um, but I I'm really careful there. You ever get one of those moods that you just want to throw your mirror? <laughs> kind of in one of those moods. You know, like when you're blending, you get a piece of like fuzz and you have to get it off and then you mess it all up and then you keep on blending and then you have a gooper and then you just want to throw your mirror against the wall. <laughs> I'm laughing inside, outside, but inside I'm cursing. Now, one thing I'll tell you when you use this on your eye, I am not going to sit here 
and tell you that, oh my gosh, it does not crease at all. It's amazing. Because I will get a little bit of creasing, but it's not, it's not bad. And the thing about it is, the thing that I love about this is that you can just take this with you if you were, you know, traveling or whatever, and you wouldn't have to bring like, different products. It's not like that with their foundation. I feel like with their foundation, I still have to use a con another concealer. This does not compare to my Sicily. It does not compare to my Sicily. And I think the uh, Natasha Denona, which I brought in here, I was going to put that on, but I'm like, no, I want to do this. I still love this too. So that's what I'm saying when I did, when I started this video, I'm like, it's kind of hard like to um, just say like, this is just, this is it. This is my favorite, that's it. It's hard to do that because there are other things that I do like too. But I'm just telling you that this, this radiant base and this concealer is just wonderful. And I, if you watch that um, review that I did, I did not like that concealer. So I have changed on that. Now we're going to go ahead and do my powder. And I'm going to use this one. This is the one that I really, really enjoy using. I use this all the time. This is the Givenchy and this is the Vial Rose. And then I do this. Sometimes I will use a powder puff, but sometimes I feel like it, it ends up looking too dry and I don't want that. So I'd rather use a fluffy brush like this. All right, so RMS blushes, I love these. And these are the ones that I've been using the ones that I use the most is, I don't know if I brought them both in here, but I use Crystal Slipper and then I also use Maiden's Blush. So we're going to do that today. And I have learned to really enjoy this more. This is their Prosecco Fizz. You don't have to use a highlighter with this. You don't. And I, you're going to see later. I'm going to look really glowy. I'm going to use this brush. It's not my favorite, but I'm going to use it. I, I think that a like a nice fluffy eyeshadow brush is better than this, but I've learned to use it. It's kind of a weird brush, but anyways, I'm just going to go in here and take this. I even use this on my eyes, but I'm just going to put some right here before I even put the blush on. But like I said, the blush is all you need, really. But I've been doing this lately because I've been a little extra and I have not been, um, I haven't really been doing my bronzer for a while. So I have a little couple of breakouts you can see on my face, but it is what it is as I'm filming this. And I've even been putting it there inside my bronzer. I know. But this is one of those highlighters that's not going to be like, you can see, it's not intense. So don't don't get scared about that, okay? I'm taking my Maiden's blush. I'm going to use my uh, RMS um, blush brush. I just like to use this with these blushes. And I just lightly... I kind of keep it in this area. That's how I've been doing it. That's how Rosemary does it, and that's how I'm doing it. Now I'm going to set my face, and I'm going to go in with my MAC Fix Plus. So all the powder that I put on is going to melt in my face. Or not in my face, on my face. <laughs> so if you are somebody that has dry skin and you're afraid of powder, use this on it. I promise you it will melt it in. You're not going to look like you have, uh, you know, cake face. Plus, not only that, you see, I didn't use a ton of powder. I, I just used, did what I needed. You know what I'm saying? I don't overdo my powder and I have oily skin and I don't go crazy. Sometimes it might seem like it because I have, I do have videos where I've put a little bit more on, but even then I don't, I'm not baking. I'm not baking. This is, I love this brush, by the way. These brushes that I'm using are the Nikki La Rosa brushes, and I have not stopped using them. I still love the other BK Beauty brushes, the Angie brushes, the Ruffer brushes. I love those. I have a lot of brushes. So right now I'm using these. That doesn't mean that I don't like the other brushes, okay? I still love them, but I'm just really enjoying using these right now. I actually took these on a trip with me recently, and I just love them. So this is the number N16 brush. This is actually considered a concealer brush. I don't really like to use this as a concealer brush. What I do use it for is putting on my eyeshadow primer. I love it because it blends it out like a dream. 
and I just love it. It's better than sticking my fingers in there and I just feel like it blends it out so much better. Look at that. So even, I feel like I haven't tried it. I haven't tried it. Um, I wonder if this would work good too, if you had a, another, because this is a basically a cream eyeshadow that doesn't crease. It's not really an eyeshadow primer, but that's what I've used it for. Um, kind of like a base. But it probably would work really good with, like, if you did an all-over eye, you know, cream shadow. I am going to use cream shadow, but not like, I'm talking about like in a pot like this, you know. I have all of the current new RMS shades. I have all of them. I just really love these. Um... I told you before, the only complaint I had is that, you know, it does get messy as far as, um, you know, squeezing out could get messy. Don't use the key. I'm going to use Supernova. This is a pretty new color right now. You know what I'm going to do first, though? I'm going to use this one first. This one is called Moon, Moon Dust. So if you just want a little bit of a color on your eyes, or if you want to put this down as like a base under a darker color, so maybe it's not so intense, you can use this. You can also use it on top, which I might do. I might do too. We'll see how I feel and what this looks like. So what you do is you just put this on. Look at, oh my God. You just put this on and you do have to work fast because these do dry fast. And I didn't even like squeeze it. You get a lot of product. And so I will put it on like this with my finger. And then I will take a clean brush and I'll just kind of, I just like to um, blend it a little bit more too with a brush. But look at how beautiful that is. Like if you just are, or somebody you just want to do like a really wash of color, it's really pretty. Now, I'm going to go over it with Supernova. And this is like my jam. This is my kind of color right here. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and go over that. I'll do the same thing on the other eye. Because I have to match. But look at how pretty this is. And I don't even know if I have to put more on. because Look at how they look together. Oh my gosh. It's almost like, oh, I'm going to say the wrong word. Is it monochromatic? Is that the right word? Where it looks like it's like two different. Oh, gosh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And it blends out like a drink. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other. Look at, see how that, when the light shifts. And if you have, if you feel like you have crepey dry under eyes, don't be afraid of these. Don't. They're not going to make your eyes look crepey. There's a lot of really good uh, ingredients in here. I know um, Rosemary was talking about it, and she said that the, the ingredients in here are like hydrating for your eyes, too. They don't crease. They're just, oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. So there's the difference between the two. Now they have them both on. Now I'm going to go back in with this one. See how it kind of oozes out? Um, she said, too, in a video I saw recently, she said people wanted her to put it in a, um, she's like, people want me to put this in a, in a different container, but no way. This is staying just as it is. So she's not going to change the, the packaging on it. But the reason people are saying that is because um, that's why. It just oozes out like crazy. So she's not. <laughs> I'm just telling you. She said in a video. I forget why she said she wasn't going to do it. But um, yeah. So don't hold your breath on it. But look at how gorgeous that is. Oh my god. So I do use powder eyeshadows, but I do I do use these a lot because they're just easy. They're just quick and easy. Like you could just use one of these, have a one and done shadow, and it looks amazing. Or you can do two. I don't think I'm gonna add any more of the light color because I because I did underneath. I'm not going to, and I feel like it looks good. I mean it is. Oh, I just love it. It's so beautiful. So I'm going to use this because I've learned to like it. Is it my favorite? No, and we'll see if we can see it on my eyes. But I'm learning to like this because I've, I've seen Rosemary share some different ways of using this. So this is her eyeliner, and this is in the color Bronze Definition, okay? So I'm going to kind of do it the way she does it. So what she does is she takes it, 
make sure you can see takes it kind of like see how i'm kind of laying it down now she doesn't do it really thick right here she said don't go too thick right there kind of bring it out and you can even kind of scrub it in your lashes okay and by doing that your lashes are going to look thicker you don't really have to do it in your tight line okay when you do it like this And then she kind of takes it. Now, she said she doesn't like a wing liner and mature eyes. I disagree. I think it depends on you. <laughs> That's what I think. Okay. <clears throat> but she kind of created one, even though she didn't say it was a wing. It basically was a wing uh, with this. But it's really subtle. See that? And I'm actually going to take this below. And I'm going to go less right here. And do more right here on the outer corner just to bring my eye, make my eye look a little bit bigger. I'm going to take my brush here from Fit Glow Beauty. I'm sorry, I just had a brain fart. My Fit Glow Beauty brush. I'm just blending that. I'm going to go ahead. Before I do my brows, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my mascara really quick. I'm just going to curl it with my favorite lash curler, which is from Ruffer. I'm going to use my YSL mascara. I love this one, especially in the brown. And I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to do several coats of mascara because, well, you know how I am. I'm going to take the smudger brush and I'm just going to dip it in the Prosecco Fizz. And just put it right there. Yeah. Super size me. Charlotte Tilbury Sexy Sienna. Mm-hmm. I feel like I have to line it up a little bit better on this side. Much better. Mm-hmm. Then I'm gonna put a little gloss on. I think I'll use this one today. This is just from YSL. And this is the um this is the uh, candy glaze in number shade number two, which is basically clear. And then you gotta wipe it off because otherwise your next lipstick's gonna look like that. Maybe you're not wearing the same one. That's it. Anyways, that's it. That's my look. So those are some of my favorite products that I've been using. I'm not going to tell you that's the exact eyeshadow because I use all of them. I just, I use these all the time. I love them. They're just so nice for one and done shadow. And that's what I've been reaching for the most as of December right now that I'm filming. This is like the week of Christmas and I'm really loving these. This is what I reach for the most. I'm not saying I don't like any of my other makeup, but I have so much makeup that I like to, I like to, um, use different things all the time. I don't, you know what I mean? Like right now I'm using this and then I'll probably take a break and then I'll go back to doing something else. I'll probably some get something new and then I'm going to be using that a lot. I try to give everything a good, you know, use because I, I spent a lot of money on this. So anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you use RMS, if there's some products that you really love, share it in the comments below. We'll love to hear from you. And if there's any um, any videos that you want me to film for the future, if there's anything you want me to share, please share it in the comments below because I do create videos. If it's something that interests me that I think a lot of other people are going to benefit out of or whatever or enjoy, um, then I will feature it. So please, if you, if you if there's anything you want me to share, any looks that you want me to do, any topics you want, want me to talk about, 
Um, you want me to do a whole look using XYZ or something like that, or let me know in the comments and I will create a video for you. So if you are new here, I would love to have you join. I share new videos every single week. Please consider smashing that subscribe button below. It is free. And also, I would really appreciate it if you leave a comment and share the video because it helps to push them out and I would really appreciate it. And for all of you that are new here and all of my OGs, thank you so much for being here with me today. I truly appreciate each and every one of you and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.